what is going on guys i am back with part two on how to build this tudor style house and in this video i plan on finishing the exterior of the house okay so the materials you're going to be needing is going to be white concrete spruce wood dark oak wood slab dark oak wood stairs white stained glass panes dark oak fence, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, and then a wither skeleton skull. And keep in mind, that's just for decoration for the chimney. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start at the left side of the house right here at this little piece. And you wanna make sure you have your dark oak wood slabs and you wanna place it on the top edge of all these blocks. Make sure to just wrap it all the way around. all right so make sure whoops make sure to stop it right there now you can switch to your spruce wood place it upward right there go to the corner place one here as well as this corner and then go to this edge and place one more and now you can go ahead and place them sideways like this in between all of those spruce wood blocks All right, so as of right now, you should have something like that. All right, now what you want to do is make sure you have your spruce wood. You can place one more on top of the one that you already faced upward. Now skip a block, place one, skip a block, place one, and keep doing that until you reach the other corner. So it should look like that. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. All right, and now do the same thing in the back. Okay, now you can switch to your white concrete and fill in the empty space in between all of those wood blocks. And now you just wanna place one more layer on top of that pattern. So where every spruce wood block is, you just wanna place one more on top of that. And then wherever there is the white concrete, just one more on top of that as well. Okay, now you can switch to your spruce wood stairs and it's starting at the top block all the way to the right. You can just bring it all the way across and make sure you overhang it by one. Go to the back side and do the same thing. All right, and now we're gonna have a triangle shape right here. So put an upside down one behind that then a regular one, upside down, regular, upside down, regular. And I'm going to keep doing this until I reach about the middle point of where I think it's going to be. So let's keep bringing it up. Maybe, let's see, one more. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Let's go ahead and do this side. All right, I'm gonna bring that up one more and then this one up one more. And now in the middle, we're just, we just want an upside down one in the middle like that. And then a dark oak wood slab on top. And you should have a triangle shape looking like that. And the middle point is gonna be this spruce wood block right there. Now, continuing on with the spruce wood stairs, you could just fill this all in. So I'm at the front side right now. 
Just bring it all the way across and stop it where you have already stopped it. So right there, go back and just do the same thing. And you just want to make sure to keep doing that until you fill in all the space. And make sure once you reach the top to switch to your dark oak wood slab and just fill this all in. Like that. Now you could go to the back side and do the same thing with the stairs once again. Alright, so once you filled in all the stairs, it should look like this. Now you could use your spruce wood and white concrete to fill in this space where the triangle shape is. So we just need our white concrete right now, fill that in, and this side as well. And now you can use your spruce wood and bring these up. So I'm just going to do that, just bring all the spruce wood blocks up all the way until you just have all the space filled in. Okay, and now do the same with the white concrete. Alright, so now this side should look like this. Now we're going to have some windows in the roof. So I have my white concrete. I'm going to go up two blocks from the bottom. And then you want to make sure you have four spaces off to the left. So we got one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth block, you could carve out three. Once again, make sure there's two spaces below you. So we're going to have a window there. And now skip over three more to the right. And on the fourth block, you could cut out another three. So there's going to be a window right there and a window right there. Now with the white concrete, it's gonna be the same way that we did those windows over there. So right here, right here, and one in the middle. Bring this up, so we got one, two, three, four, two, three, four, and upside down uh, dark oak wood stair in the middle. White stained gla glass panes, just like that. Go behind here and cut out one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now go on the inside, switch back to your white concrete, place a block here and here, and two above that. Now you could go back on the outside, switch to your dark oak wood stairs, and just start bringing these up until there's one overhanging, like that. Do the same on this side. So starting right here, you just want to curve the stair. Bring it all the way out and stop it there. Do the same on this layer as well. Alright. Go in the middle, switch to your dark oak slab. And fill that in. And now you want to switch back to your stairs. Upside down one in the middle, as well as the left and right side. And that is going to be it for that window. And now you just want to do the same thing here. Alright, so as you can see, we have the two windows completed, and after you have it done, you want to have the same windows on the back side. So if we go up top, we still have two spaces of stairs and then a half slab at the top. So make sure you're lined up with this one. You have the half slab, then two more stairs, and on the third stair you want to cut out a hole. Go off to the left, line up this one, 
go down two stairs, and a hole. Alright, so we're going to have a window there, and a window there. Let's go down below, make sure we go up two stairs, cut out three. Make sure the middle point is the hole up there. Let's go to this side and do the same thing. Alright, so now we are going to have a window there, and a window there, the same way that we did it in the front. Alright, so now once you have those two windows done, then you have this part of the house completed. Okay guys, so the last thing left for the exterior of the house is just this middle space here. So you want to make sure you have your white concrete, and we're going to place three more layers on top of this. So once again, just make sure you place it on top of just the white concrete itself, not the wood corners right here. So you skip that, make sure to place it right there. Let's go to the back side, do the same. Okay, so that is one layer all the way around on top of all the white concrete. Now you just want two more. All right, so I placed four layers in total above the window. So one, two, three, four up there. And over here, let's see, did I mess something up? No, I think we're good. Okay, so now you just want to bring your spruce wood up as well. So we'll just bring it to the same layer for now. All right, I think we brought them all up. So as of now, this is what you should have. Alright, next I'm going to start doing some of the windows in the front of the house. So I'm going to be starting at the left side. And make sure you have your spruce wood. So you just want to have one space of white concrete right here. Then place a spruce wood block. Skip over two. Place another one. Skip over two more. Place another one and two more again. And one more. So we're going to have a two wide window there. And a two wide window there. Go to the right side and do the same thing. So you just want to make sure you have one space of white concrete here. Then a window that's two blocks wide right there. Skip over two blocks and have another two block wide window. Alright, bring these up three more layers so it's four in total. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this pillar up to about the same height, as well as this one too. Just so we don't have to worry about that. Now, switch to your white concrete, fill in this space, bring it up one more, and just cover up the top. Bring it back down just one space on that side as well. Fill in the two spaces in the middle, like that. Let's go ahead and bring this corner up one more so it's all leveled out. Let's go to this side and do the same. So just for now, we'll bring this up one more. Switch to the white concrete, fill these two spaces in. And do we need to do that over there? Uh, I think we do, but we're not gonna worry about it right now. I think we're covering up that entire side with white concrete, but just for now, we'll leave it. Let's fill in this one space here cover up the top bring it down the side here 
and fill in the two spaces in the middle. And now switch to your white stained glass panes and fill in the rest of the empty space. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is this middle space right here. It's going to be a little bit different. We're just going to be bringing it out one more block. So go down here, place a block, do the same on this side as well. So right there, fill in the space in the middle like that. So it's going to be on the same layer as the block underneath the windows here, fill in the sides as well as the top in the middle. So right there. And now we are going to have a window right here in the middle. So make sure to switch back to your spruce wood. Fill in this side. And this side. And now you should have a one, two, three, four block window in the middle. So switch to your white stained glass panes and just fill that in. All right, I'm at the back side of the house now, and the next thing we're gonna be doing is just the windows for this next layer. And it's just gonna be the same way that you have the windows at the bottom. So, make sure to have your spruce wood, place one here, and one here. As you can see, we're lined up at the bottom one. And another window here. Go to this side and do the same thing. All right. Go ahead and bring those up three more blocks so that they're four in total. Okay, now let's just go ahead and bring these up one more block above the ones you already placed. Do the same for this corner as well. And this one, and then the last one off to the left over here. Okay, now switch to your white concrete. We could fill in these three spaces here. The one space here. Cover up the top. Bring it down with this space, as well as this one, and this one. Do the two spaces in between the windows. So now we got it looking like that. Let's do the same thing over here. So this space here, right there. And then this one, bring it up one more, cover up the top and then bring it down. Fill in the two spaces here and then the two spaces in between these windows. All right, now you can use your white stained glass panes to fill in the rest of the empty space to complete the windows. All right, so now for the space in the middle, we're just gonna have the same window that we have everywhere else. So let's go to the top, cover it up with some white concrete, and now go underneath and just cover it up right here so it's lined up with this bottom layer. So now we're just gonna have a two block wide window here. So one, two, three, four. And if you go from the top, just go down one, two, three, four, and then you can have your white concrete. So it should look like that. Just one space of white concrete at the top and then your window. Switch to your white stained glass panes, fill this in. And that is going to be it for that top space in the middle. 
Okay, now let's do the doors for the front and back side. So right now I'm at the back side, and they're gonna be four blocks in height. So starting at the bottom, we got one, two, three, four. On the fifth block, you could bring this across and then fill in all this empty space. Okay, now use your white stained glass panes. Fill this side in, as well as this side. Curve the bottom one out, skip the second one, and then curve out the two top ones. Then use your dark oak fence to fill that space in. And that is all we're going to be doing for the door. Okay, let's go to the front side and do the same thing. So four blocks in height. One, two, three, four. On the fifth block, use your white concrete. And now fill in all this space. Okay, and now we're going to make the door. So the white stained glass panes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Curve these out. Curve out the two top ones. And then your dark oak fence. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is use my white concrete just to fill in one layer on the left and right side. So this is the left side. Just go from here and bring it across. Like that. Go underneath and fill in the rest of the empty space that you see. So just stop it right there. Go to this side and basically all you want to do is just place a white concrete block along the stairs. Then fill in this space. So now from the outside it's all going to be patched up. Let's go to this side and do the same thing. So go to the top, just bring it across. Stop it there and just fill in all the open space underneath. Okay guys, I'm at the front side of the house and I have my dark oak wood slab and we're just gonna be wrapping it around the top edge of this middle space. So I'm gonna go to the left side and I'm at the top half of the block and I'm just gonna wrap this all the way around. Okay, and once you get to the side where the stairs are, we're just gonna be stopping it right there. So now go to the other side and start it where you stopped it, so right here. And just, once again, keep wrapping it around. Okay, so the same thing on this side, just stop it right here, go around, start it up here again, and then stop it where you started it there. So now we just have this dark oak wood slab wrapped all the way around on the top half of the block. Okay guys, the next thing you're going to want to do is use your spruce wood and place one upward in each corner that you see. So I'm at the front side right now, and I'm going to go off to the left and place it at this corner here and go to the middle place one here as well as the other side like that and go off to the right all the way over here place it in this corner go to the back place one here and now the back side middle space right here right here and then off to this corner right here okay now, with your spruce wood once again, we're going to start right here. And make sure it's sideways like that. Bring it all the way through. And we're going to be deleting the stair right there. So you could just bring it on through. Delete this one. And stop it right there. And now we are at the front side. You could bring this across. And stop it right there. And this one's actually going to be facing upward. So we could just leave it like that for now. Make sure to just face this one upward. Right beside that one. Fill in this middle space here. Okay. An upward one here. And then sideways until you reach the other one in the corner. Alright. 
Now we're back at this side, so we're going to just bring this across, delete this stair, bring it on through, and delete this stair. Stop it right here in the corner, bring this across. Alright, we could just stop it there, and then we're going to turn it and just fill in the single space there. Alright, then the middle space. And then we got this little turn here, so two there. Bring this on through. And I believe we're going to be stopping it, yep, right there. So now we just placed some spruce wood blocks all the way around, just like that. Okay guys, we could actually, real quick, just go ahead and delete the rest of the stairs above that spruce wood block that you just placed. So you could delete that side. Go to this side and delete the three spaces here like that because we're just going to be bringing up some blocks so make sure to just have an open area right along this wood right here okay let's use our spruce wood again i'm at the front side at the left hand corner once again i'm going to place one more on top of this corner i'm going to skip one place one skip one place one keep doing that until we reach right there Fill in this corner, and then start skipping one again. Okay, yeah, I forgot this side's, uh, or this middle space is a little bit different. Let's delete these. Fill in this corner. Skip one, fill in this side, as well as this one. And then we're actually gonna have two right in the middle like that. So this is the front side of the house. You got two single ones on each side, and then two side by side in the middle. Okay, now we're going to place one more on top of this one, and then skip one everywhere else until you reach this corner. Let's go off to the side and do the same thing again. Alright, wrap around the back. And we're going to be placing it in this corner. So skip these two blocks here, keep bringing it along. And let's see, are we going to have the same thing back here as well? I think so, so delete these. And we're going to have one in the corner, one beside that, and two in the middle again. Alright, let's go to this side, and we're going to fill in this space here, so just skip Skip these two spaces. Keep bringing this along. Curve it. All right. Now you could use your white concrete and fill in the space in the middle. All right, so now we have it looking like that. Okay, now we just want one more layer on top of that pattern. So just place one more block on top of all the spruce wood and then one more block on top of all the white concrete. Okay, now after you have that last layer on top of the pattern, you want to go ahead and switch to your spruce wood stairs. I'm going to start at the left hand corner on the front side. I'm just going to bring this across like this. Curve this out like that. Go to this side. Starting right here, we'll place two. Make sure one's overhanging. And curve this. We're going to stop it here. 
so it's overhanging by one. Let's go to this side and make sure this is overhanging by one. Alright, so this is going to be the roof. Let's go to the back side. And we'll start at this back corner here. And make sure it's overhanging by one. Bring this along. Turn it. Curve it out. Whoops. So it's overhanging by one again. Do the same to this side. and overhang it here so now we're going to have two big triangle shapes on the side right here and over there and then two smaller ones on the bunk on the back <laughs> on the back and front side okay so i'll start at so if i go to the front i'll start at the right side so it's the same as we did at the space over there so just upside down regular upside down regular and keep doing this until you feel like you're about to reach about the middle point okay i feel like i'm getting pretty close let's see and eh, not quite let's keep bringing it up a few more maybe one more now that should be good let's go to this side and do the same over here Okay, so I reached the middle. We could delete these two here. Put an upside down stair and a slab. So the middle point is going to be this white concrete here. And it's also going to be lined up with this middle point at the bottom. Alright, so we got it right there. Let's go to the opposite side and do the same thing. And I believe it is once again going to be lined up at this middle point at the bottom. All right, upside down stair for the middle as well as a slab. And now we have both of the triangle spaces on each side. Okay, let's go to the middle point. We're gonna have one here in the front as well as the back. Now keep in mind for these middle spaces, we're not gonna be putting an upside down stair and a slab in the middle at the top. We're just gonna be, here I'll show you. So we're gonna stop it right here on the left side of that spruce wood then we're just going to place another stair right beside that and an upside down one and we'll just we're just going to be bringing it right back down all right so from the front it should look like that now we're going to go to the back and do the same thing Okay, so now we have every triangle point of the roof. Okay guys, now I'm going to use my stairs to fill in the rest of the empty space for the roof. And it doesn't matter what side you start on, I'm at the front. I'm going to go to the left over here. Start here and just fill it all in the same way that we did every other part of the roof. So just curve it there. Start it here, bring it out one. Turn it and match it up with this other point here and i'm just going to keep doing that until i fill in all of the space all right and now keep in mind when you reach this middle point here we're going to bring it over one more and then this is going to be it for the smaller triangle spaces so I'll do the other side and then I'll show you real quick what we're going to be doing next.
Okay, so now from the front side, it should look like this as of right now. The next thing we're gonna do is just keep bringing these stairs across, but we're not gonna be curving them or anything. We're just gonna bring them straight across, just like that. Okay, and now you just wanna do that until you reach the top. Okay, and keep in mind once you reach the top, you want to make sure to use your wooden slab just to bring it all the way across. So right here, just like that. And now once we reach the back side, we're just going to be doing the same exact thing as the front. So I'm just going to start at the bottom to make it easier and work my way up. All right guys, so I finished the roof. Now let's use our white concrete and spruce wood to fill in the sides. And it's just the same way that we have already done it before. So we got some white concrete here, then the spruce wood, back with the white concrete and back with the spruce wood until you just fill in all the space. So I'm gonna do that for this, this area here, as well as that one, and then the two smaller ones in the middle. All right guys, I'm back at the front side of the house and the next thing we're gonna be doing are the windows in the roof. So I'm gonna start at the right side over here. You wanna make sure you're two blocks up and you also wanna make sure you have four spaces from the right. So you got one, two, three, four. On the fifth block, you cut out three. So two spaces at the bottom, four off to the right. Skip over three. On the fourth block, you could cut out another three. So we're gonna have a window there and a window there. Let's go to this side and do the same thing. So two spaces up and four spaces from the left. So we got one, two, three, four, cut out three. All right, skip over three, then cut out another three. So we're gonna have two more windows there. And yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So it's the same way that we've already done the previous windows. Okay guys, now once you have those four windows in the front completed, you then want to head to the back and just have four more in the same spaces. So from the back side, you want to make sure you're two blocks up, four from the right, since I'm on the right side, so you got one, two, three, four, cut out three, two spaces at the bottom, skip over another three and cut out three more. So two windows there, let's go to the left side. 
So we got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, then cut out three, skip over three, one, two, three. Oh yeah, okay, so one, two, three. So then we have two windows there and two windows there. Okay guys, now after you do the four windows in the back, we're going to do the chimneys at the top of the roof. And these are just for decoration. So you just want to make sure you have one space on each side. Cut out the three blocks in the middle right there. Go to this side and do the same thing. Alright. Put one layer of cobblestone, two layers of cobblestone, a stair on each side, two blocks of cobblestone in the middle. And then the skull at the top, like that. Go to this side and do the same thing. So we got one layer of cobblestone, two layers of cobblestone, a stair on each side, two blocks of cobblestone in the middle, and then the skull. So now from the bottom, it should look like that. Okay guys, now the last thing left to do for the exterior of the house is the front porch. So I'm going to go over to the right here and I have my spruce wood. I'm going to go and make sure I'm at the edge of this wall. I'm going to count over one, two, three, four. On the fourth block with our wood, we're just going to bring up a pillar right there. Okay, now from that pillar, let's go over to the left five. So we got one two three four five we're gonna place one here skip over another five so we got one two three four five place one here skip over one place one skip over four place one skip over one and place one and i'll skip over five one two three four five place one Skip over another five, so we got one, two, three, four, five, and place one. So it should be lined up at this corner over here. Okay. Now, let's bring these up. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five more. So it's six in total. Let's do that to the rest of these. Alright, so as of right now, we got the front pillars looking like this. Now, with our spruce wood slab, you want to make sure you're at the top half of the second block. So starting right here, you could just bring it all the way through. So as you can see, we still have one full block above this. Bring it through all of these pillars. Until you just reach the other side. So it should stop right there. We could bring it in right here as well. Okay, and now on top of that, we're gonna use our spruce wood, place them sideways in between all the spaces. Okay guys, now after you have it looking like this, as you can see here, you want to make sure you have your dark oak wood slab and we're going to start at the right side, right where we already have the slab. You could bring it all the way across. We're going to stop it right here at this pillar. And then we're going to start building up a triangle shape here. And it's going to be stopped right in the middle, so right around there. 
let's go to this side and we are just going to let's see start it right around here I believe just wrap it all the way around and we're gonna stop it right here at this pillar bring it up and it's gonna be stopped right there okay so it should look like this and actually this side now that i remember we're just not even gonna have this slab going across it's just gonna be stopped right there and we're actually gonna have a little triangle shape right here until we reach the uh the edge right there okay what if we bring this up actually huh it kind of just like matches up with that uh that roof there I guess if you want to do that, you could. That's up to you. I'm just going to leave it because I think I had it just like this at the other house. But if you want to do that, that could totally work. Okay. So now, once again, with our spruce wood slab. Here, let's go, uh, let's go behind this triangle shape here. We're going to use our white concrete. So just fill in the, uh, the one row there and then the two spaces in the middle. So from the front... It should look like that. And we're going to be doing the same thing at this corner as well. So just the two spaces there. So it should look like that. Now we can use our dark oak, our dark oak slab to fill in all of this space. All right, let me check here. I think we brought this uh, this white concrete down actually one more block just so that these spaces are patched up. So you could do that. Just the two spaces on each side and I think that should be good. I believe that's what I did. And then I just uh, used the dark oak slab here. Just brought it right across. And we didn't do anything else with these two spaces. Let's go back on this side, fill in this last spot up until the edge there and that should be good i believe i think that's what i did yeah that's like really the only thing i could have done all right let's go to this side start bringing it across stop it right there then bring this out and around Okay, let's see. I think that's good. Uh, did we fill in this? No, we did not. Let's fill this in. Whoops. Okay, just bring it right underneath there. And that should be good. Alright, so it's looking like this as of right now. Okay, guys. So for some reason at the other house... I actually didn't even have these blocks here and I just brought the wood right across and that was actually a mistake on the original so it should look like this I don't know why I did it over there I guess I just didn't notice but once again you should have the uh, the two blocks down at the bottom and then the woods just gonna stop there all right so now that we have that let's go underneath and it's really dark under here I hope you guys can see we're basically just going to go at the top half of the uh, the wood right here and just bring some slabs across. And then I believe that is the last thing that we're going to be doing for the exterior of the house. So I think it's just three spaces. Uh, I think I went too high here. Let's fill that in. Yeah, it's really hard to see for me. I think the video should be fine. The video is a little bit brighter. But yeah, right now I literally like can't even see here. Let me just, uh, just in case, let me just get a uh, night vision potion because I can't even see. Okay. So yeah, we just, uh, we have uh, half of this spruce wood still showing. Fill all of this in. And then, yeah, that should 
be the last thing we're gonna be doing and we'll do like all the lights and stuff when we do the landscaping video or the uh the interior video whichever one so we'll get to that whenever we do so yeah it should look like that and i believe once again that is the last thing we're gonna be doing for this part Okay guys, so that is it for part 2 on how to build this Tudor style house, and if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 3. Later.